80% of the environmental impact is decided upon in the design phase. It's decided by the materials you choose for the product and the building you're going to make. And it's also decided by the fact if the, it is easily repairable or if you can take the materials apart and recycle the different uh, materials in, in separate sources. The most urgent issue that we take on with my design colleagues at the Bioregion Institute are the fossil-based plastics. One of our time's greatest challenges. The world is waking up to the problem as China let us know that they don't want to handle our, all our plastic garbage anymore. Here in Norway, the wake-up call came in the shape of a whale that came ashore on an island outside Bergen. In its stomach was found 40 plastic bags, 30 types of plastics. And now our ocean plastics collecting, like collecting it in the ocean, is on the agenda. And plastic recycling is being tackled. And that's very good, necessary. But unfortunately, it will not solve the plastic problem. Because specialists tell us that only 9% of today's plastics will ever be recycled. It disappears in nature to become microplastics, polluting the soil and seas for hundreds of years. And it's the type also that cannot be recycled. So it's burned, releasing toxic, toxics in the air. The plastic problem will never be solved by recycling but by replacing it with other alternatives, like compostable biomaterials that goes back to nature, where we don't need them anymore. So why don't we do it? Well, plastic is a wonderful and durable material, and that is the problem. And it's very, very cheap. Europe have externalized cheap production to other continents for many decades. So no, it's those that are developing the cheap bio products as well, like cups and cutlery and bamboo, corn, sugarcane. But sometimes they are mixed with fossil plastics and make hybrid uh, materials that cannot be recycled and not be compostable. And also they're shipped from the other side of the world to a great carbon emission cost. To solve the issue of replacing non-recyclable plastics, we should look to the bioregions. A bioregion is a graph geographical area not defined by political or, or other natural borders, but by its natural ecosystem, where people's prosperity, biodiversity, and natural resources are interdependent. A place we can call home. Traditionally, local communities were circular by essence. Thanks to simple transformation and local knowledges, everything was used and produced nearly no waste. In contrast, the linear industrial system produces waste all through the value chain. So behind me, you see my bioregion, that's called Vestland. Uh, it's is the home to over 600,000 people. And our current research here, uh, we have mapped low value organic raw materials that could potentially be used to produce the biopolymer products that we need. And we did find a lot. As an example, should the wood industry in Vestland stop exporting the timber whole, like the whole trunks with the bark and everything, we could extract 65,000 tons of lignin, which is an organic polymer that's excellent and could replace the fossil uh, binding that we're using now based on fossil um, materials. We also found out that 430,000 tons of low, low value unused biomass from agriculture is available and 
actually the double from the marine, marine sectors. And the technology exists to use it in the circular material economy. Organic polymer solutions are in development and production, like mycelium binding organic waste as it grows into shapes that can replace packaging like styrofoam. With milk waste, seafood shell and algae, we can create alternative to clear plastic foil that is often not uh, recyclable. And actually, along the Norwegian coast, uh, we have farming of seaweed, actually over 100,000 cubic meters of it. And while it grows, which it does very fast, it absorbs CO2 and it has a lot of different uses. You can 3D print it, for instance, with it. Um, and it can also make algae textiles. Bioplastics give value to waste and build local resilience. But it is complex to change existing systems. From our research, we found three major insights. They emerged from the collaboration with citizens, institutions, industries across branches, large and small businesses across industries need to connect. That's the first one. We must all work together to develop systems that follow use the resources and create green growth. Secondly, we need to experiment with the historical low technologies and take it seriously on par with high technology. Because when traditional knowledge meet high tech, we widen the possibility space for innovation. And the last takeaway uh, that I would like to share with you is that the next generation, our children, are aware. They will not buy products that are only zero emission. They choose solutions that heals the planet and do good to people. This makes fossil products obsolete and opens up a whole new market. So, to design away the plastic society, let's go bioregional and create a new modernity from waste to grace.